Hello and welcome to another uh, video. This time I'm doing another drive through from Sutton Caulfield to uh, Litchfield Trent Valley. I've already done a Bromsgrove to Birmingham and a Birmingham to Four Oaks. So because I've done the Birmingham to Four Oaks one, I thought I'd do from Sutton to Litchfield Trent Valley. <clears throat> I've just joined a train at Sutton, so I've just literally jumped in it. <laughs> so I will just got to get me make sure all my safety systems are on which they are 35 mile now is going to Sutton Coalfield and then 45 as we come as a Sutton part line goes over let's open up next stop should be four oaks um, yeah but this time I'll be going into the free platform as I'm going forward to Litchfield Trim Valley. And then that would complete. Well, th and then all I have to do then is the Redditch to Barton Green, or Redditch to Bom Bromsgrove actually, part of the route. And that should seal up uh, most of the drive throughs uh, on the, in the down direction, in the up slash down direction at least, anyway. In the up directions, and the down direction, the up direction, isn't it? Fifty-five board round the corner. Probably could pick a bit of speed up, but oh, come on, climbing a hill so we're dragging a bit. It was snowy in the last video, which obviously caused a bit of hindrance with my driving and braking. But I thought I made the best of it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle. Uh, fast approaching Four Oaks, so I will ease off on the power. There's a train just departing Four Oaks. It's just it's literally just round the corner. Free car board. He's halfway down the platform at Four Oaks, so I'll make a steady approach in notch one not braking. Then I'll just coast off a little bit. It feels weird because I was driving in the snow just so the braking was really degraded, but it's a lot more responsive in the dry, as I'm finding out. So apologies if it looks like I'm driving a bit boring, but it's because I've just been driving in the snow. Where's that free car board? Where's that free car board? There. Oh. oh no, it's for oh I don't can go all the way into the platform. Excellent. Oh no, there he is, there he is. Caught me out. I've not done many up services at all, so I'm still learning this bit a little bit, so apologies. So yeah, there's the free cardboard there. Quick and easy. Oh the doors open take a bit of time to open, but you can literally tell them to close as that doll's about to caught the way around. <clears throat> Lovely, buzz buzz. Let's be on the keyboard because you can only do it on the keyboard, unfortunately. And off we go. So the next stop should be uh, if we're stopping at all stations, it should be Butler's Lane. And it is. It looks like we are stopping at all stations. Uh, let me just. Oh. Blake Street, Shenston. Yeah. Yep, stopping all stations. Uh, 55 and now it's a 60 now the 60 board's fallen over I don't know if anyone's noticed that it, it is actually 60 now um, probably won't notice there I've actually already pressed by accident I've pressed the left doors unlock uh, you can't actually press the door unlock a button um, and it will wait until you come to a stand should you want to try and rush things in a bit so I tend to do that before I come to a stand. So 60 mile an hour again as we uh, a bit of vigilance. Now this part of the route I'm still learning a bit so I apologize if I may over over speed or might be a bit cautious but I am still learning this route a bit. I haven't done this quite as much. You don't tend to do as many route, routes. So I'm fast approaching Butler's Lane. Thankfully, it's not snowing, so my brakes have kicked in. Now, I have done a scenario uh, on this route where you can run, M you run express to Blake Street. You can terminate on the up platform at Blake Street. And there we are. Door should open automatically. And they haven't. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe it was a bit too long. But anyway, they've opened. <coughs> there we go. Got plenty of time there. I think I might just slip. No, no. What am I doing? Wrong button. Wrong button. 
think I'll just slip my reverser into neutral for a minute to stop it from beeping because unfortunately while you're standing the vigilance still goes off. Whether that happens in real life or not, I don't know, as I don't drive trains. Yeah, so the next station is Blake Street. You can terminate trains into the up platform at Blake Street and the Hafton in the scenario, which is available on the Creator Club, as well as this livery, which is the original original railway cent Centro livery. But I haven't done the Centro logo because it was just too complicated. I did defaultly put 323211. If you watched my previous videos, I actually ended up in 323211 by default, which one I mean this time. I'm in mean two. I'm in two. I mean, what? That's not the right number. That's an incorrect number. That's 240 because it can't be 340. Because 72340 isn't a number. Interesting. And what's the other side say? No, that's an incorrect number. It must be 240. But anyway, I digress. Let's get those doors shut. Now I'm running late with that little indiscretion. Buzz, 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 buzz. As it's nice and dry, I'll flip my P P PBC open, power brake controller wide open, and off we go. Next stop, Blake Street. This part of the route after Four Oaks is quite good because you get some good runs. Um, whether it's safer the route, safer Four Oaks, it's a little bit close, stop, start. You get your gravelly or your Erdington, Chester Road, Walt Green, and then suddenly they're all relatively close together. He says, as Blake Street hones in the horizon. But to be fair, these two are very close together, but then it's a good run to. It's also a 50 PSR. If you're not stopping at Blake Street, it's a 50 PSR through the station, um, which isn't. Uh, you don't get warned off, which is a bit of a bit of a bugger. So this is Blake Street, my steady, steady uh, approach. I think it's 50 because it's on a bend. I'm still going quite quick, aren't I? Another Centro liveried, or Regional Railways liveried uh, 323. <coughs> Apologies for the coughing there. Stop boards right at the end of the platform. God. Oh my god. That was a bit of a ease. <coughs> Sorry about that. I think I'm too far off. Yeah, yeah that's okay. As long as the platform as long as the passengers can get on and off, that's all I'm bothered about. Let's get our door shut. Next stop is Shenston. Bit of a run now into the countryside. We're back out of the city, back out of suburbia, and we're into a lot of countryside. So a lot of fields and horses and various other things uh, between here and um, and basically each field. So it's 50 mile an hour around this bend, should you not be stopping, and then it goes back to 60. Uh, as it's starting to straighten out a bit, we probably won't need to worry too much about that. I don't think the 60 board is just there in the distance, if I am right. I don't know if anyone has noticed the fallen boards. There's one outside Four Oaks on the uh, down, and there's another one along here. What, a, what, a, what do you know? You do have to worry about it, but there you go. So, six by an hour. Easy enough. I think the reason why it's 60 is because it's free aspect signalling. So, obviously, you only get... What that means is you only get the maximum of a single yellow before you get a green or a red so obviously the faster the line the better the more high more the higher the aspects you'll need although you have four aspect down on the safe side of the route so that's interesting so i'm not really sure why we don't get four aspects on the north side of the route to be honest but uh, but there we go get carried away a little bit Going through a place called Shenston Wood End. So, Walsall Road's gone underneath us there. Um, did a bit of filming up here. Filmed some diverted HSTs this way once in the horrible wind and cold. 
during engineering works on the main line. You can't really see it, but we do run along the Birmingham Road, Litchfield Road, which runs from Birmingham to Litchfield. You, that basically follows the railway all the way to Litchfield, but obviously we don't really get to see it because it's out of peripheral view. But yeah, it literally runs alongside the Cross City North all the way um, to Litchfield. I mean, it's a road I've driven on many times. As we approach these towns, it means Shenston Station is coming up. Well, it pops up, Shenston does. And I mean literally pops up. As we... Uh, there it is. So I mean. The platforms pop, pop up, which is a bit bad. So some poor draw, draw, draw distance there, which puts you off. you just got to remember where it is. <clears throat> Stop balls at the end of the platform. Or well, near as damn it, if I remember rightly. Got on and off this station quite a few times, because it's right off the A38. So it's quite easy to drive to, park up's free, uh, jump on the train down to Birmingham, which I've done often, uh, having, when I used to live in Derby, sometimes I used to come here. He's... It was cheaper than catching the train from Derby. It was cheaper to drive and park here and catch the train from here. Ah, lovely, plenty of time. I said that into neutral. Yeah, overall, I'm really enjoying this route. Obviously, like all routes, it gets a bit repetitive. So I've been working out quite a few scenarios to kind of make it a bit more interesting. There's a few other trains you can you can have as well on the route with a few with some limited services, which does make it a bit more interesting. But obviously, ultimately, the the star of the show is the Class 3 with these random services, these these sorry regular timetable services. <coughs> Oh, I think we've got a bit of rain coming. Next stop is Litchfield City. So that's another few mile away. Right, if you've got a keyboard, V for intermittent, V again for second intermittent, and V again if you want it going. Is it raining or snowing? Now in real life there is a, a Dobby's garden centre and we go over the M6 toll which I think is this here, this bridge here. It certainly looks similar but it feels like it takes a lot longer, I could be wrong. There's a 55 speed coming up on a bend in a minute but the it goes 55 then it goes back to 60 but the board and the 45 reminder have fallen over. And there's no reminders to drop you to 50 here. Is it 50 or 55? Let's have a look. 55. So I'm still learning the route. Like I said, I'm still learning some, <coughs> learning some of the route. Also got a little tip for you in a minute when you're approaching Litchfield City. If you've got your safety systems on. So here's the 55. It's only a short speed, so just go around this corner. And then if you spot it, you might spot it, you might not. Let me just zoom in. But you'll see, you can just see it there, look on the, on the approach in between. There you go, look. There is actually a speedboard on the ground. A 60 and a, for some reason, 40. I thought it was a 45. No, it is a 45. That's wrong, isn't it? So 60, let's just... So, yep. Yeah. Which you should have got, uh, should get an address acknowledgement for as well. So that's not right, is it? Oh, 
so now we've got a bit of an issue here because there is a TPWS trap which is incorrect so it's actually wrong so you drop down to 45 there is actually a drop to 20 which you're not warned about uh, unless you look at the hood of course um, you actually can't the TPWS at, is a bit sen has set, been set wrong so there's two, two TPWS grids coming up in quick succession this one's okay but there's two on the corner can you see them you have to be doing below 10 miles an hour otherwise they'll go off you literally have to be doing under 10 miles an hour if you do anything above 10 they will go off so now that they've gone I'm going to speed back up again so that's a bug they've been set wrong so I've had a few people come on the group and said, oh, why do I keep getting TPWS intervention? I'm probably, oh, this is because it's wrong. Now this is a 20 and there's no TPWS magnet for it. So you can casually speed up and then casually slow down again. Hmm. Apologies for that. I was having a drink. I've just hit the boom on my mic. Yeah, this is a bit of a drag now. So Litchfield City coming up. You can't really miss it. It's a bit of a hill as well. So you might have to just... <clears throat> so the bridge we're about to go over is on St John Street, and it's one of the one of the most. It's not the most, but it's one of the most struck uh, bridges in on the route and in the country, in fact. Here we go. I'm assuming there's a unit in the platform of Litchfield Trim Valley as we've got a single yellow. <clears throat> Six cardboard. Free cardboard there. That's well confusing that isn't it? There's a free cardboard there. I saw a six cardboard. I'm, I'm confused. Which one's which? Are they the wrong way around or, or what? No, that's the right one. Brilliant. <coughs> late look that's because we've had to slow down prematurely for no reason so really i should have opened the doors and closed them again because they do they it will load the passengers up in that time right let's go let's get out of here quick Next stop, the last station is Litchfield at Trent Valley, a single platform which overlooks the uh, West Coast Main Line. Which unfortunately, there are no tra oh, there are no trains. And when you spawn into Litchfield Trent Valley, you actually spawn on the Trent Valley platform. You actually spawn on the northbound down slow platform, which is interesting. Now, there's no speed board here, but apparently there's a 60. <clears throat> but there's no speed board. It's not even a fallen over speed board. There just isn't a speed board at all, which is really frustrating. So there's a few things unfinished, in my opinion. And some parts of it do feel unfinished, especially this hot part. And the line between Bargreen and Redditch feel, feels a bit unfinished as well. So apparently it's 60 now, but I am approaching a red, so I've got to be careful. I can't see any... Oh. It's also a little bit snowy, so my braking may get degraded as it did earlier. I don't think... Yeah. Oh, it is track... Oh, it must be track approach then. There's no train around. Off we go into Litchfield Trent Valley. Although it is double track, you can only the only the platform is electrified. Um, so and you can only access the platform from this side on this uh, upside.
been a bit brave hitting go, going in a bit quick here especially with the uh, the graded braking but hey ho seems to be slowing down okay well the brakes haven't shoved on so obviously aren't doing too bad I have to go right to the end of the platform I'll take it steady because I don't want to spat obviously it looks stupid Oh. oh my god, accidentally went straight into emergency. Oh well, let's open that. But luckily, it resets itself again pretty quick. So, there we go, and that is that one. So, that's Sutton Caulfield to Litchfield Trump Valley. Hope you found that useful. Uh, oh, I wish all those were mine. Oh, yeah, that's more like mine, isn't it? Look. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you for joining me for that. I will be releasing a few more. So my next one, well, the next ones I'm going to release, not necessarily in this order, is I'll do a Redditch to a Longbridge. I will do, um, then I'll be coming the other direction. So I'll do Litchfield, Trent Valley. Probably might do that down to um, possibly Birmingham. Um, no, actually, no, I'll do it down to Sutton because then... Uh, or Four Oaks, because then I can do a Four Oaks down to Birmingham, do it in reverse, basically what I've done now, and then I'll do a new street down to uh, Bromsgrove or Redditch and, and swap over along, like, just so that the whole route is covered, but it's not long, boring videos, so it keeps you engaged. But thank you for watching, hope you have found this useful.